Hey there, and welcome to day one of social media training. So if you know me or if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you know that I love social media. And you can pretty much tell from my profile, even if you didn't know me or know me through Beachbody, if you scrolled through my feed, you would know that I am a health and fitness coach for Beachbody. And that is because I am consistent. I am posting a lot and I am consistently posting and inviting people. And honestly, that is the key to being successful in this business. And that is what I have figured out over the past two years um, of doing this. So the idea of this course over the next five days is there are going to be daily assignments that you must complete. If you don't complete these assignments, you're going to be removed from the training. Um, I take this really seriously. It takes me time to make these videos and you're asking for help. So in return, I'm expecting you to complete these assignments. So if this isn't the right week for you, if you're not going to have 30 minutes a day to dedicate to this, let me know and we'll schedule you for another week. No hard feelings. Um, but the goal of this is just to give you insight on what I'm doing, what works, um, and then really just figure out what's going to work for you and for your followers and for your brand of however you want to market yourself. So today, just a basic overview of social media. Um, obviously, you're on Facebook because you're watching this. Um, what other social media channels are you on? Um, I think the important thing is, is not to overextend yourself and to do what works for you. If you don't have an Instagram following or you're not on Instagram, don't start now. Focus on what works for you. For me, uh, Facebook and Instagram work really well for me. I have a Twitter, but... I don't really use Twitter the way I should. I have a Pinterest, but I don't really use Pinterest the way I should. So I focus on um, Facebook and Instagram, and it works for me. So I would say to identify whatever social media channel works for you and stick to it and become really good at that. Um, I think it's important that on those social media channels, it's apparent that you are a coach. So if it's not already listed in your bio or your profile or whatever that you're a coach at Team Beachbody, add that today to your profile so everyone is well aware of it. Um, I think there's other, there's a few other like standard rules which I'm going to run down to. So like I said, consistency is key. So you should be posting three to five times a day on your profiles every single day, like every single day. Um, if you say, I don't have time for this, this and that, you do, um, cause you're probably scrolling through Facebook, book, like stalking and seeing what people are doing anyway. It's just making good use of your time on those profiles, um, and scheduling things out when you know that you can't, um, like actually log in and go on. And I think it's just like coming up with a strategy and knowing like what you want to talk about. So when I'm saying that you should be posting three to five times a day, it should not all be about beach body and health and fitness because that's obnoxious. I wouldn't want to see someone who looks like they're kind of like obsessed with health and fitness and working out 24 seven, because guess what? I would think that then that's what I have to do to get results when that isn't the case. So you kind of want to like live your life on social media and just be present. Um, so posting things about your family and your friends, or like if you're single about your dating life or like new recipes that you found or TV shows that you're watching or anything like anything to just kind of stay on the radar. Cause I think, especially with Facebook, the important thing to know is, is that like not everything that you're posting is going to show up in everyone's feeds. So even though you feel like you're being obnoxious because you're posting too much, not every single of your 500 friends are going to see every single status that you put up. So that's why it's important to be consistent because they may miss the one in the morning, but they may see the one that you post at night. Um, in terms of timing, personally, what I do with posting is I will post at least three to five times a day, usually like in the morning, at lunchtime, and at night. Um, on the weekends, it's a little bit different because I'm not like at my office job, but I'm usually pretty consistent that at least those three times I'm posting things. Um, so that's kind of a, like a general rule of th thumb that I like to, to do. Um, negativity um, is obnoxious and annoying. And there's already enough negativity out there in the world. And I feel like 
Beachbody in our community puts out such positive vibes that I think it's really important that you are not a negative person on Facebook because there's enough of that. that those are the people that we're trying to help. So I would say don't be a negative Nancy on Facebook because it's annoying. Um, in terms of when you are posting about Beachbody, I think it's important that people get to know you and know that you're using the products and don't just like Google a picture of the 21 day fix or like, like show the picture of like the challenge pack that's on sale. It's finding a way to have like you involved in it or like your friends that have gotten good results from it or like showing the recipes that you're making. Like you want their you want to have a connection with people who are following you and are friends with you. So don't like be authentic. Don't just like Google things and post them up there. Um, you absolutely never, ever, ever want to post the price of things publicly on your timeline or within comments because you don't want someone to kind of think that they just can't afford it before they understand really what they get when they invest with you, like in a challenge group and the support and like menus or whatever you have to offer. So I think that's really important. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. And it's really just like being you and, and figuring out kind of like how, like the types of things that you post about and like what the people that you're friends with enjoy. So I'm in my, I'm 30, I'm single. I do online dating. Like I've found that I'm very honest with people in the fact that like I drink on the weekends, I eat pizza, but I also work out during the week and prep my meals and literally I will like post a picture of myself eating pizza like after having drinks and saying like yes beach body coaches do this and that works really well for me um maybe you're a mom and you take the time to meal prep or you found recipes that really work that your kids like and that your husband likes um maybe you're motivated like there's just all these different kinds of not ways that you can spin it but how you want to market yourself to people, to people like you, because that's most likely the type of people who are going to want to invest with you. So this is day one. Um, your assignment is to make sure that your profile is updated to say that you're a coach um, on all your social media profiles. Let us know which profiles you are using. Um, and then make sure that you post three to five times today. And please um, just screenshot it and in a separate post, tag your coach and, um, just confirm that you did the assignment. So day one, good luck and talk to you tomorrow. Bye.